Driver released in 1999, remains a standout classic in the realm of driving games. Its gritty, cinematic atmosphere and challenging gameplay set the bar high for the genre. The game's emphasis on precision driving and evading the law in various missions created an exhilarating experience. However, some might find its difficulty level quite steep, which could be a bit frustrating for casual gamers. Despite its age, Driver continues to be praised for its innovation and contribution to the racing game landscape, making it a must-play for enthusiasts of retro gaming and driving simulations. Driver 2, released shortly after its predecessor, expanded on the success of the original with larger environments and a more immersive experience. The addition of multiple cities to explore and a storyline-driven campaign heightened the game's appeal. Its open-world design provided ample opportunities for exploration and diverse gameplay. However, some players felt the controls were a bit clunky, and the graphics didn't age as well compared to other games of its time. Despite its flaws, Driver 2 offered an enjoyable experience for fans of open-world driving games and remains a nostalgic gem for those who grew up with it. Driver 3 attempted to take the series to new heights by introducing larger environments and a more cinematic approach to storytelling. The game featured expansive cities to explore along with improved graphics and an emphasis on action-packed missions. However, it faced criticism for various bugs, erratic AI behavior, and occasional control issues, which hindered the overall gameplay experience. Despite its ambition and attempts to innovate, Driver 3 fell short of expectations for many players, ultimately receiving mixed reviews. Yet, it still holds a place in gaming history as an ambitious title that aimed to push the boundaries of open-world driving games. Driver. Parallel lines marked a departure from the series' previous installments, introducing a split narrative between two eras and a more gritty, crime-driven storyline. The game offered a fresh take with a detailed depiction of 1978 and 2006 New York City, providing a diverse range of vehicles and missions across both timelines. However, it received criticism for repetitive missions and a lack of innovation compared to other open-world games at the time. Despite these drawbacks, its nostalgic nods to the 70s era and the dual storyline concept appealed to some fans, making it an intriguing addition to the Driver series. Driver 76 attempted to bring the Driver series to the handheld PSP platform with a narrative set in the 1970s. The game showcased a blend of driving action and storytelling, incorporating a variety of vehicles and missions within a vibrant, retro-inspired world. However, it struggled with technical limitations, including graphical constraints and occasional performance issues, which affected the overall gameplay experience. While it offered an interesting premise, Driver 76 fell short of expectations due to its technical shortcomings, making it a somewhat forgettable entry in the franchise for many players. Driver. San Francisco revitalized the series by introducing an innovative gameplay mechanic that allowed players to shift between vehicles seamlessly, injecting a unique twist into the open-world driving genre. The game's engaging storyline, diverse missions, and the ability to inhabit various cars added depth to the experience. However, some found the story's supernatural element a bit far-fetched, and the graphics weren't cutting-edge compared to contemporaneous games. Despite these minor drawbacks, the game's creative gameplay mechanic and enjoyable narrative made Driver, San Francisco a standout title, earning praise for its originality and entertainment value within the series. Driver Renegade 3D attempted to bring the series to the Nintendo 3DS, offering an on-the-go experience in a crime-ridden city. It boasted an engaging storyline and decent car chase sequences, utilizing the 3D capabilities of the handheld console. However, the game faced criticism for its repetitive gameplay, limited mission variety, and a lack of innovation compared to other entries in the series. Despite its efforts to adapt the franchise to a portable platform, Driver, 
Renegade 3D failed to capture the excitement and depth of its predecessors, making it a mediocre addition to the Driver series. Driver. Speedboat Paradise aimed to diversify the driver franchise by focusing on high-speed boat racing on mobile platforms. It offered accessible gameplay, a variety of boats to unlock, and visually pleasing water environments. However, the game received criticism for its repetitive nature, limited content, and reliance on microtransactions for progression, which dampened the overall experience. Despite its attempt to explore a different aspect of driving, driver, Speedboat Paradise fell short in providing lasting excitement, making it a somewhat average addition to the driver series.